hello in GitHub, we can find a project called HOMI, uh, which is uh, an IoT convention or better uh, a lightweight MQTT convention for the IoT, to be more precise. Okay, here you have that page. Uh, it's very easy, just a, a logo file and a readme file. And so here you have the description of that convention. In this clip, what I'm going to do is uh, try to follow that convention to describe step by step what are the, the assumptions of, the, of that convention. And later I will use uh, a real scenario uh, with which I played uh, last days. Uh, and you'll see how that convention is implemented. In following videos, uh, you'll see or you, you, you will have the opportunity to see the details about the firmware of the devices that I implemented uh, to play with. Okay, so let me go. This is exactly the same um, readme file that I referred before. Okay, the same thing that we have here, but in this case, I uh, highlighted the most important parts. Remember, HOMI is a lightweight MQTT convention for the IoT. Okay, and the background of that convention or the main ideas that you have to retain before going a little bit deeper is uh, what's a device. A device is an instance of a physical piece of hardware. Okay, so an Arduino, an ESP8266, uh, Raspberry Pi, whatever, all of those things are called uh, devices for convention, okay? Um, in this case, HOMI established that device um, has, have, a device can have uh, properties, okay? Like, for example, the local IP address, the Wi-Fi uh, signal level, or other things like that. At the same time, a device expose uh, multiple nodes, okay? We understand a node like, um, for example, uh, temperature, a temperature node, a humidity node, uh, which will have uh, properties at the same time. So a node called temperature could have a property called value or called uh, temperature or, or whatever, okay, which will expose the value of uh, that node. For example, uh, another property could be uh, the units of that node. So we will have a node with, that could be called uh, temperature with a property called value, for example, value 23, and another property called units and that unit could be uh, the centigrade degrees, for example, okay? So the hierarchy is more or less simple for a while. Uh, so there are other kind of properties for a node that and those uh, properties can be stable. So imagine a thermostat and, there's, and that thermostat uh, could have a property called uh, temperature, for example, and you can set that temperature as a value. Okay, uh, later we'll see some examples about that. Um, anyway, if, if it's not clear, please tell me in the comments of that clip and I will try to uh, draw a diagram describing that relationship between the, those terms. Okay, let me follow the convention a little bit deeper. Okay, um, we assume that those devices, that HOMI devices, uh, communicate through MQTT. <clears throat> and at about that, we uh, define some uh, rules about the topics that we will use to play with uh, MQTT. For example, the base topic or the first part of the topic will be uh, literal. Uh, in next lines, the literal that we are going to use will be devices dash. Okay, 
here we find the devices that we assume that in my example that I will show you later the literal will be uh, in BHQ okay you'll see later um, for a while let me go a little bit deeper with the convention so uh, here we have how uh, the convention about the topics follow remember here we have the literal devices dash and later uh, we use a device ID okay uh, that device ID will help us to identify uh, one of the devices that we have in our uh, wireless sensor network um, first of all uh, excuse me but first of all um, some detail some details uh, or some restrictions that uh, that device ID um, string will have uh, are highlighted here so the ID may be composed of lower case letters from uh, A to Z numbers from 0 to 9 and it uh, may con uh, may contain a dash but uh, must not uh, start or end with uh, dash okay so here we have how uh, how th those topics start um, let me go to the properties here we have uh, a list of those uh, properties uh, the topic uh, will be uh, adding a device property at the end so devices dash device uh, device ID dash dollar symbol uh, and device property name uh, next uh, we have a, a table I, I didn't highlight that table because most or, or everything that you have in that table is uh, very important um, to recognize or and to understand because of that I will go uh, row by row and column by column describing uh, what's the meaning of things that we can find here let me start uh, describing columns the first column is the name of the property by itself the second column uh, talks about the direction of the information how the information flows if it's uh, from the device to the controller or from the controller to the device later we, we have a description about how what's the meaning or why do, do we have that property okay and last uh, column it's about if it uh, if this information is retained or not by uh, the MQTT controller remember a retained information means uh, when you connect to that topic when you subscribe to that topic uh, you'll receive a default uh, or uh, you receive a last the last value that has been published uh, as a retained message in that topic so it's very useful for example because uh, you can <clears throat> publish, for example, uh, a temperature of uh, 23 degrees and just subscribing to that topic, you'll receive automatically uh, 23. doesn't matter if there is no updated uh, publish at the same time when you uh, subscribe to the topic. So uh, in that column, you, you will have uh, some details about that. Let me go uh, step by step by those properties. The first one is about if the device is connected or not. That information, it's just a, a true uh, or false value. So it's a Boolean, a Boolean uh, description. And offline information, uh, in the end, it's a, it a difficult to understand how that information is published to the broker or to the controller and the way to do that remember uh, it's uh, thanks to the last will test uh, the last will and test testament that uh, mqtt uh, has integrated so playing with that uh, capacity when the device is connected could say uh, if uh, i'm um, disconnected to the broker please please publish uh, a value in this case a false in that uh, property and thanks to that we always have the information about the status of the device published in a specific topic so the next thing it's easier to explain than the, the first one it's just the name of the device as you can see always is the device who publish uh, its own name it's another retained information the next thing it's about the local IP address of that device the uptime information is the next one uh, always referring um, 
about the time elapsed in seconds since the boot of the device. Uh, signal is a percentage uh, about the quality of the signal of the Wi-Fi connection. Next one <coughs> is just uh, an arbitrary firmware name. So imagine that you have multiple temperature sensors, but maybe all of them uh, use the same um, ID. Excuse me, use the same firmware. So here, all of them will have that firmware identified with the same uh, literal. Uh, again, the restrictions about the name of that firmware name uh, are the same as before. So it could be letters from A to Z, numbers from 0 to 9, and can contain a dash, but not a dash at the beginning or at the end of the literal. Uh, the next property is firmware version. It's in the end, it's a, it's a, a number, okay? Or at least uh, a literal indicating that version. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's not a number. The important thing here is it's going to be evaluated um, in, in alphabetical order to distinguish if uh, one version is greater than another. The next thing, it will be a list uh, of nodes exposed. The list of those nodes will be uh, a pair of the IDs and types, okay, um, separated by, by so the relation between those IDs and types, as you can see here, it's uh, related by columns, or semicolons, sorry. Um, not columns, no? Mm, uh, and the list is, is separated by, by commas. Mm, another property, it's information about the other version available for the device. This is information published by the controller to the device, so it's uh, take care of that because uh, the, the direction of the information in this case it's uh, not from the device to the controller, it's the controller to the device. <coughs> so we can publish in that topic. Uh, we have a, a, a new available version for that device. Uh, it's it's not a requirement to be a, um, a persistent information. Uh, but you can consider to do that because it's allowed by that convention. It depends on the implementation of OTA. And nowadays, that, the, the, the convention is not so deep about the details uh, about how to use that over the air uh, actualization, the over the air update. Okay. Um, so later, after OTA, um, you you can publish in, in that topic any any extension of the topic for information that you could use for example the host that publish uh, <coughs> that publish the auto new image or or whatever okay the user and password the way that you can the, the way the device can download that anything else a very useful uh very useful uh property is the last one so it's the last but not least, it's a reset uh, property. And this is very useful because uh, using um, firmwares, uh, sometimes you set up a configuration for those firmwares and you want to uh, reset those configuration uh, remotely. And you can do that thanks to that uh, Ctable property where you can publish from the controller to the device um, a true and automatically that true will be converted to a false just uh, confirming that uh, the configuration is removed inside the device. Let me go or let me follow uh, an example that will help you to understand how the previous described properties are going to be used in a real case. In this case we assume in that example <coughs> our device ID um, has that uh, complex or that long, long uh, let me say identifier, and we assume uh, with uh, the properties available are uh, temperature and humidity. <clears throat> this is the, the nodes that are going to be published, but but that device. So we see that in a topic called device, the device ID and the property online, we have this is true because it's connected. Here we have an arbitrary name using 
uh, topic name, the local IP address, the signal percentage, the firmware name, in this case, take care, because the example is not so clear, only says that the firmware name is a, a number, but uh, I suggest uh, to use, I suggest you to use um, anything more uh, more useful or more, more, more identifiable humanly than that number. Here you have the, the version and uh, the list of nodes available in that device. So here you have the temperature, type temperature, humidity, and type humidity. In my humble opinion, mm, I didn't, I think this is not so clear. I prefer to say something like temperature, type, uh, for example, float, and humidity, for example, uh, type integer, okay? But it's just only my opinion, uh, which help you to understand better than that, that example. Uh, about the OTA, <coughs> you have some information about the version only, and the reset, it, uh, it's so simple, not much more to explain. It's clear, I think. So let me go a little bit deeper with the concept node, node properties. Uh, here you have uh, how node properties are published uh, as a topic. So remember, this is a literal called devices dash. We can change that literal, remember. The device ID, the node ID. Uh, in this case, remember, in our previous example, here will be temperature, could be one of those node IDs, and humidity could be uh, one of those node ID. IDs and property <coughs> uh, could be uh, a thing to be substituted by the property name. Uh, I remark that because it's not very clear here when they say temperature uh, colon uh, temperature. Here you have node ID property, and you'll see in the next example temperature dash temperature. Take care because that uh, second temperature uh, it's nothing to do with that temperature that you, you'll have here, okay? It's a little bit confusing to, to understand. Um, so, um, node ID is the idea of the node, as I said. And here we have some examples about how, how the information is, is published. So, so we can subscribe to device, blah, 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 temperature, uh, dash temperature and we'll have the changing temperature and here the same thing for humidity in the next example or excuse me in the next description we have some information about a setable property okay so remember it could be something like uh, a node called temperature and a property called thermostat okay in this case, remember, this is the node ID called temperature. Uh, and the property name called temperature. Here we have the node ID called temperature and the property called thermostat, for example. So and using uh, that dash set, we can publish, for example, 23 to set uh, the value of the thermostat. At the same time that we publish or that we set that from the controller to that topic, the device will answer in that uh, in that uh, MQTT topic, okay, just the, the blue part, the same value that we set previously in that part. So here I think, uh, yeah, we have an example about that. In this case, they play with the concept of light, okay? A device called Homey Light with a node called Light <clears throat> with a property on. We set that property to true. So we set Light on with that true. And at the same time, the device will publish to another topic. In this case, as you can see, it's the same except the set part. Okay, we'll publish true and it uh, allows us uh, to have uh, any feedback about if our set uh, has been running properly or not 
Okay, so it's very easy and very interesting way to confirm that a setting has been um, set to, to the proper property. Here I have a real system uh, configured and programmed by, by me. Let me see if I can get that it runs because let me plug that. Whoops, something wrong here. Something wrong here. I don't know what happened. Mm, let me see. Okay, now it's ready, the example is ready. Let me show you uh, what I explained before. In this case, uh, what I did is uh, simply connect to uh, Mosquito, which is our MQTT broker or the controller that uh, has been referred previously in the definition of the convention. <clears throat> in this case, uh, we subscribe to any topic with some verbose information. The first device that we can see, or the first information related to a device that we can see, is that one. Here we have the literal, in this case, in BHQ, okay, instead of devices like before. My device ID, which is exactly that, my device ID, okay. Uh, the properties that I explained before, in this case, you can see different values because it's a real configuration in a, in a scenario. Um, and here you have, for example, the node temperature with a property called, uh, this is a node temperature with a property called unit, and the value of that unit is uh, C. And again, the same node with a different property called degrees with a value 24.55. Uh, okay. And here you have a pending uh, signal, which is a, uh, excuse me, a pending property of the node, which is signal uh, with the value 100% uh, because the AP, the access point, is next to the ESP8266. And here uh, we have another example. In this case, is the mice ID 2. Uh, in this case, this is an actuator. Uh, it's not a sensor by itself. It's um, as you can see, it's a heater. Okay, and here we have the setable property and the feedback topic for the setable uh, topic associated with that. <coughs> with that node property. Okay, the name of the node is heater. The property in this case is own. Okay, so and here you have an example about how uh, that heater has been instantiated. I sent from another console, in this case, this one, I published a message, okay, to the topic setting the value of the property on of the node heater with the value true. If we come back, here we have how the controller, the broker, received that information and how the device respond, reply with uh, that confirmation topic publishing the true. So I hope uh, with uh, so detailed description it's uh, enough to understand the HOMI convention because, as I said at the beginning of the clip, my idea is for next uh, videos, videos um, describe a little bit um, the firmware that I created for those notes. Thank you very much for your attention.